Hello, Fania here. Today I'm going to show you the Valentine's and Little Ladies Day event. First, you need to go to New Fredonia and go to Ma the Makoto Amphitheater. So let's on, head over there. Um, the quest is at X10Y9, which is over here. The quest is a level 15 quest. And the name of the quest is A Delivery of Love. Do you feel it, my friend? Love is in the air. And I, is that the Valentina? Is it Valentina? So sorry. Shall encourage one of all to react out and seize it by its fist. But wait, I know you. I never forget a champion of adore and affection. It is simply wonderful to see you again. Did you perhaps recognize the anguish in my eyes? The quite desperation? Oh, what happy fortune has delivered Onto me, this gentle savior. The problem you see lies with young Asper here. Ah, uh, she does well enough as a apprentice, but she insists I allow her free reign as a full and mature. Too soon, I say. The bud has not yet flowered. Oh, what's that? What more must I do to prove myself? My dear child, allow me to explain, he fell. One cannot expect to master romance in a matter of months. True. Understanding of love requires expensive experience and constant knowledge. Accusations of such whimsical wisdom is the work of years to go. A moogle! What a heart shaped palm! Where did you come from? I am. Deliver of pain, passion, and material and no matter matters of the heart. Any immature initially would be wise to heed my words to well. But I did not wing my way here to lecture green stock for important. Nay, it is the adventurer with whom I have this. The letter's author is a girl by the name of Ellen, a dear friend of mine and an incredible admirer of yours, he said. Such a punky young thing she is, though lately stricken with pieces. I cannot bear to see her broad so. If you will only help me, I am sure we can restore her usual good cheer. I'd be happy to. Then you must allow me to help as well. 
We serve the cause of love in all of its forms. In a mission born of friendship certainly qualified. The more the merrier, Kupo. I'll not turn away a freely offered, even from a fumbling free Well, I promise this, fumbling free will endeavor to do her best. First thing first, we don't, why don't we hear what Ellen has to say in her massive tea adventure? Just as the eyes are windows to the soul, so might her words permit us a glimpse into her heart. Dear Kalania, I hope this letter finds you well. I've always heard how brave you were, so I decided to be brave to tell you my story. The truth is, I've never been outside the close woods. I dreamed of building my strength and skills so that I could follow in your footsteps and maybe one day see the sea with my very own eyes. But now, I'm not sure that day will ever come. I suppose I'll just have to imagine those sparkling shores and be content, content with the tales of your adventures. I hope the roads you travel always bring you home safe and sound. It's obvious she thinks the world of you, Kalanina. I wonder, then, what caused her to abandon her plan to travel the realm as you do? Ellen has spent long hours drilling in Spirum, though, preparing herself for adventure. It makes no sense for her to suddenly give up, she said. It certainly is a mystery. She loves the sea, yes. Perhaps if we visit the shore ourselves, it might provide the inspiration we need to encourage her. A fine idea, Kuko. Come along with me to the middle of the mountain. The pair of you. We can find a nice spot on the coast near the mouth of the river. This is what Valentine's is all about, my dear. Go on now. You can leave the festival event to me. Ellen loves to hear about the world beyond the Wellswood Kufa. When I tell tales of my travels, she always changes on every word. She seems especially enraptured by the idea of ocean water sparkling in the sunlight. I suppose when one has lived one's whole life amongst the trees, such a, such a sight sounds splendid in me. What if we were to bring such a sight to Ellen? Um, perhaps a painting of the sea and its grandeur would serve to stroke the fires of the dream she has let burn so low. It just might work, Kubo. Yes, I must have a canvas at once. While I am occupied with my easel, you must gather a posy of the sweet scented flowers from your boat. The heady fragrance of Philbrand 
will surely excite Ellen's senses just as well as the sight of its beauty. Might I suggest the balloons just north west of Stellar Rest? Those are particularly lovely and show show perfectly complement my art. And the sweet scent of flowers. Ah, oh, Flamia, you encountered no difficulties picking flowers this past. And over those flowers. Perfect! A scent almost as evocative of the shoreline as the sea air itself. And with the paint, our plunge, or Miss Asteroid was so kind as to provide. I have but this moment completed by perception of the sea. I was able to employ a sense an artist once taught me about the Lamothian shells, ground up and mixed with water. They make for pigments of surprisingly good quality. It seemed the perfect choice for the task at Pray, forgive me for calling you a scrapper, Pico. Your assistance has been both apt and timely. Right then. Now that we have blooms in the painting bow, let us deliver our bounty of love. If I know Ellen, and I do, she will be mooning about in the vicinity of sweet bloom here. <laughs> Really, you? Kafka didn't say anything about bringing you back with him. Claudia and Ashford have been helping me prepare a little gift for you. My work keeps me ever busy delivering love and happiness to others, but this time it's your turn. I painted you a picture of the Lanosian Sea. Do you like it? Astrid here made the paint herself out of seashells, she fell. And Flavia carefully picked the perfect flowers to accompany the sea. It's so pretty! And the scent! I could close my eyes and imagine I was on a faraway island. Even more breathtaking sight and sound and smell await you in distant lands, Pico. Why not go and visit them yourself? Why give up on your dreams? Uh, I tried to do better. I really did. But no matter how much I practiced my archery and spear work, I never seem to improve compared to the other students. Just wandering the skull floor is dangerous enough. If I can't even protect myself here, 
How could I think of exploring further? It was a silly idea. Um, I would say why not try I never thought of that. There's more than one way to become an adventurer, isn't there? I should go and visit the Conjurer's Guild. Thank you, Asgard. Melania, a little gift and a few inspired words have done the trick. How delightful to see Ellen so positive again, Susan. I am thrilled to have been of service and yes. What a wonderful feeling to put a smile on your dear friend's face. Hmm. Feeling, feeling. Why do I have the feeling I'm forgetting something to say? Ah! Suck my palm, Tupo. I still have a delivery to make in Alda. The songbird must have their love letters to them. Um, Lanya, if you're not in too much of a hurry, do you think I could ask you for a favor? Help me, you guys? Oh, thank you, Polania. More than anything right now, I want to join Kepka on his trip to Alda. The problem is, I'm afraid my parents will be too worried to let me go. But if they knew that you were going with me, this could be your first step on the road to adventure. So you'll, so you're saying you'll come? Wonderful. Oh, I have to tell my parents right away. I shall be right behind you when you do. A voice of steady reassurance. I too would like to see this tale to its conclusion. One can hardly abandon the ship of love, or it stops safely in the harbor. Before we leave for Alda, however, I should report to Alyssa the reasons for my continued absence. Let us convey of a ship landing when we are ready to depart. They said yes, a couple of helps me convince them. Wonderful. And might I say, you look very smart in your traveling clothes. It is very well exciting, but let us not forget your promise to return within the agreed upon time. Koopa. All aboard for Alda. Once we arrive, I must speak with the Royal Princess at the Ruby Road Exchange. Oh, we meet again, Adam. 
you have been keeping well, I trust. My dear, how time goes past us by the I come once more, bearing letters of love for the songbird. And how eagerly do they await for your, wait your arrival, dear Our lovely ladies are presented persons and we occupied with rehearsal for their upcoming performance, but they should be back any moment. Um, are these fine people all your assistants? Oh, how are my me? Allow me to make the introduction. But if the this but isn't this fitting? Why? It says if Lamania is acting as for the darling young princess. Yes, exactly. Even as a little lady today wish is coming true, so too are we filling a mission of love for a Valentino. Two wonderful celebrations joyfully completed. Oh, which reminds me, I have a massive here for you, Ramosa. Our anniversary of romance and affection. Hmm. Seeing as our representative festivals are set to take place at, at much same time, the Lady Valentino proposes a joint event of some manner. This is indeed a rare opportunity, and one too precious to be squeezed, but what might be the call, I wonder. By the gods, I mean it back. But I'd say we're all ready for the big show. Ah, lady, Kappa Kupa is here with your mail. I have a bundle for each of you, Kupa. would have the biggest pile this time. Why is it we always receive the exact number of fan letters? Well, I think it's nice. We're all equally loved. Besides, it's about the content, not the quantity. All those words of admiration and encouragement. This fan writes, I can hardly wait your next performance, not to mention your newest outfit. God, we haven't even decided what to do with our costumes. A new look for a new us was the idea, but if we don't come up with something soon, we'll be taking to the stage in what we're wearing now.
Indeed, I shall return to Sergania to arrange the costumes there and support the good news. Take your ease, I will inform you once the new elephants have arrived. Bye. And what are your own plans? If you weren't otherwise occupied, might I ask for a helping hand so you wait? The return of your food. There would be no rush. You could even complete the task as you take a tour of the city. What said you? It is a simple errand, really, of a single delivery that I should like you to make. The children toward um, we're to be trusted with a delivery. I feel like an adventure already. Oh, you've set your sights on becoming an adventurer? Have you? Well then, Mr. Selwyn, we must reward you accordingly. Whatever portion of my delivery remains the same shall be yours. How does that sound? You can count on me, sir. Um, that is the children's ward exactly. From what I understand, there's a place where little ones around your age are sent to recover from illness. There will be a lady there by the name of Adela. Put the package directly into her hands if you please. Okay, sir. On our way, sir. A delivery from the Royal Central? Is it? The children learn is right from the field. We're going to enter the door. I see, well, you have my thanks, my little overture, as to your friend. If I must ask, Lady where are all the children? I hadn't expected the war to be so violent, you know. There was a physician undergoing several examinations. We put up decorations. While they were away, you see, ready to surprise them upon their return. These sweets you brought us from the kitchen are part of the celebration. Perhaps we might like to stay and help clean them out. Oh, I would like that very much. Handing out sweets is an act of love and a very much in keeping with Valentine's Day traditions, as an Emerson, it would be my duty and joy to accept. I was aware of the plans to decorate the world, but I did not expect it would be welcoming such a delightful visit to Paris as well. 
Look how happy the children are to be with Miss Bessie. Ellen and Miss Master have them. It is not often they get to make new friends of their own age. Not to mention a different city. So this is quite a special occasion. Lady Elsa gave me the leftovers from the Civil War. I guess that means we finished the job that Central gave us. And a fine job I got. I shall be staying here with the children for a time, so I so might I ask you to convey my regards to the friends. You should be getting back in any case because Astro will surely have returned by now. Thank you for delivering the most important. And how is the lady Elvin uh, well should be joining us for the festivities? She said she needed to stay with the children for a moment. Oh, so she did let me have the rest of this week. Just like we promised. But of course, it is only fair you be paid for service rendered. As for you, Ash has returned a short while ago with the promised fossils, and has assisted the songbird to their fulfillment. The ladies will be mounting the stage momentarily. We'll stay to watch their performance, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thank you for coming to our concert. Helen Hina, Dave Bessinger, Joel Swain, and now here in Aldo, Little Lady's Day is taking over the city. This is our chance to have double the fun. Have you all noticed our Helen Hina theme costumes? This performance is dedicated to the ideals of both festivals and we mean to give our emissary friends a run for their money. Prepare to feel the love. The songbirds are so amazing and pretty and lovely. It's no wonder they are so popular with the way they can stir people's hearts. We may have to appoint them as honorary emotions. I certainly feel inadequate after the performance today. Perhaps I'm not as wise in the ways of love as I have. Did you see how much the crowd walked out of this? We have you and your friends to thank for that. I was just saying how pretty you look. I'm so glad I want to. I don't know when, or even if you'll ever be a real adventure, but this trip has also felt like a great start. Going on a journey and helping out. Oh, you want to be an adventurer? You must be very brave. 
Chasing a dream is no easy feat, especially one that takes a great deal of training and dedication. Sometimes they seem so far away, but we reach for them all the same, don't we? That's because having a dream is the best thing there is. Sure, there'll be times when you feel it's small too far. But remember to keep that fire inside in you. Exactly. And don't you ever say if. Stick with one. Your dream will always be there with you. Put on foot. Put one foot in front of the other. And you'll get there in the end. Praise yourself. Whenever you make it. Even one step further than the day before, that's what I do. It builds confidence and helps you stay positive. I will, thank you. All of you. I suppose I'd better be heading home, but when I next come to Alda, I'll have to bring home the flowers for the children's school. I'm sure they will love that. And it would be nice to have a longer chat with our new friends. So we board the airship then? Or can it wish to see us on our return? So pray join me at the amphitheater if you have time. Everyone. Oh dear, after we spent all the excitement when she came to arrange the costume. I am so pleased to see you blessed out of the gloomy room. And I really must thank you for your excellent suggestion. Ah, oh, where you left me. You should have seen the soft birds in their own kingdom. They were adorable. Thank you, Columbia. I never would have raised any of this if it weren't for you. Now, if an inventor helps you, you're supposed to get them a reward. I'll have to ask Mother and Father what we can spare. Your kind words were enough. Hmm. You mean my letter? But that was only... That hardly seems fair. Well, I really should be going now. Please know that I'll never forget this as long as I live. Thank you. Encourage me to write that letter. I always enjoy our talks in the world. And 
thank you, Astro, for staying with me and telling me that I'll come to see you as often as I can before announcing my day. And I can never thank you enough to be here. I dream of the day we can travel together again. I know I was on a mission of love for a woman, and yet somehow I feel like I need as much more the experience as she did. I thought I understood what being an emissary was all about, but there is so much more. You were right, Coco. I was trying to dash through the garden when I should have stopped to count the trees. Well, that's one way to put it, but at least now you know what you don't know, and that's at least two-thirds of the truth. If I could bring as much joy as even one-third of the songbirds, I would be happy. Well, I shall be learning right alongside of you, as it wouldn't do the pathway out the They're not my eager emissaries. Our new day is not yet over, and there is still plenty of love spread around. Thank you all for watching. Hope everyone has an amazing day. Please hit the like and subscribe button to catch the next video. And please also leave comments. Bye!